over here in Kiln Canyon, at a site of a couple charcoal kilns that were used to feed the smelters at the ghost town of Taibo, which is over there. The original kilns were built in 1874 and they were made out of stone. But stone is not really as efficient as the brick, especially the double layer brick. So in 1876, 15 new kilns were built out of brick. And these are two of the 15. And these 15 kilns required 500,000 bricks. Look at that lizard. Oh, he's a big boy. He's a big one. Now the steel door used to be up in that opening. So they would load this up with wood to a predetermined height, usually just below that area right there. This entrance was sealed with mud and brick. They would get the fire started, and as it slowly started at one point to where it starts burning at a height, I don't know the technique for it, but supposedly they looked at the coals, they were able to determine what it was, they closed that door. And then, you see that big rock up there? There should be another one up there also. And that's where the, that was the ch this chimney. And they just let it smolder for as long as they needed to to come up with their charcoal. And while it was smoldering, a crew had to maintain it, or watch it, maintain it, make sure everything was running right, because if it burnt too long, it's basically ash. I mean, you don't really get much money out of ash. If it didn't burn long enough, you end up with an inferior product, and the likelihood of somebody actually buying it is slim to none. Another lizard. Yeah, good sunning place. Look at that. That is just, that's all from the charcoal process. And there, there's the two big rocks. The middle door here is missing. Because this one is not as open up there with the big rocks, and it still has, see that's all the charcoal patina. It still smells like charcoal in here. Now to feed all these kilns, as they're massive, required an army of woodcutters. Now the kiln itself was easy to operate. You only had a small crew to load it, light it, and watch it. And then the same small crew would load them onto wagons and get ready to load the next batch after the process was done. Because where we're located, we're pretty high up. The winters in this mountain range get really nasty. So here's one of their rock shelters. You can see how thick the walls are. And this to help keep them warm in the winter. Very neat. Well, that's gonna be the end of today's video. If you made it to the very end, I appreciate it. If this gets you excited to go out and explore, do it. Have fun, most of all, be safe. Mm -hmm.